everybody welcome back to the shop today we are not going to be working on our drz today but we are going to be talking about this icon air flight helmet so let's get over the workbench let's see what we got buddy so this is icon's air flight helmet uh, i think they call it an air flight because it's really light and this is the quarter flash model as you can see designated right there on the back so there are a couple things i really like about this helmet um number one it is a little busy it looks a little crazy um i do have quite a bit of seat time with this helmet i know this has the stickers on it i normally don't rock it with this visor uh actually i've never wore it with this visor and i'll show you that in a minute but i do have uh probably several thousand miles with this this particular helmet here and i can tell you overall you know i think it's a good helmet visibility is really good but there's some other things that i really like about it um it does have the vents in the front so it's got them on both sides which is pretty nice and those vents you can actually feel it i have a i don't have any hair i got a, i got a bald head so i can feel that air rushing over the top of my head whenever i do open those vents up and then they actually exhaust um right here in the back so there's exhaust ports on both sides and that air actually will exhaust out of the helmet through through those passages there so that's pretty neat so one of my absolute uh, favorite things about this helmet is its modularity. No, it's not necessarily a modular helmet where the face shield lifts up, but um, this this helmet does have a lot of a lot of neat options from a styling standpoint. And uh, they do have this fog-free Prolock style um, face shield, and that is really easy to remove. So you'll see here, you just have these little tabs. All you have to do is kind of pop those out, and these little pieces pop out. And they do have little locking pins that actually lock into the side of the helmet so you can't really position it in an incorrect way. But if you just take that one out, you do the same thing. You just grab this little piece here, pop this other side out, and then the only thing you do to actually remove that face shield is you would lift it up. And hopefully you guys can see there, right here, you just have to line it up. And once you line it up, you pop it out, you do that on both sides. And then your face shield pops off and you can rock it like that with no face shield or um, you could do what uh, I do and I have this purple face shield. So let's look at it. And this is kind of what it would look like if you did not have a visor on it whatsoever. If you just wanted to rock some, some goggles, you could do that. But uh, yeah, just pop that off. And then I do typically use this purple shield and it's kind of a translucent purple. And you would just line those tabs up. Just line those up. And you can rotate the visor down. It's locked into place. Once you have your visor down, you just take your little side pieces here. And they do have these little pins that stick out. And you just line those up. And all you have to do is press them in place. Identical for the other side. There you go fully convert your helmet in about 30 seconds and it looks completely different so this is what it looks like with the uh with the helmet on um and i'll talk about the sizing in a minute but uh, i do think it is a good looking helmet and you do also have this tent visor uh lever here where you can kick that down and kick your shade down just flip that up now you're in full fighter pilot mode now you're ready to roll. So you do have your clear shield, have my purple shield here, but something else I think is really cool about this helmet, if you want to, you can buy this little add-on piece. Here's your part number. And you guys know what this is. Let's check this out. So this is another little visor. So we can essentially convert this street bike helmet, full face style street bike helmet, into a dirt bike helmet. And the only thing you do to do that is you pop your pieces off just like we did before for both sides kick your visor all the way up pop it off both sides and then we'll take our visor and we'll put it on the exact same way just have to line these pieces up gotta get it straight and then your covers go on the exact same way and it locks it into place And then you fully converted your street bike helmet to a dirt bike helmet. And I think that is cool as hell. So if you have it in like a open mode, dirt bike mode, this is kind of what it looks like, which is pretty cool if you want to rock some goggles or something. 
So if you were rocking goggles, this is kind of what the setup would look like. Pretty cool, not bad. Yeah, so the fact that you can convert it to a dirt bike helmet, uh, looking helmet with a visor, and I think that little wing part on the back looks pretty cool. But yeah, I think it's pretty neat. And swapping it back is just as simple. Pop your ends off, rotate it up, get your visor out of the way. But yeah, all in all, I mean, it's pretty quick to swap your helmet over. So uh, this one is a medium. Um, now I bought this off of Revzilla and I did use the icon sizing chart on the website. Uh, literally identical measurement. I measured around my head exactly like they asked. And based off of that chart, just for me, uh, I needed a small, I have a pretty small head. Um, I needed a small, so I ordered one, got it. And it was super, super, super tight. Like so tight that the shit wasn't gonna work for me. It looked really, really cool, but I just couldn't live with it. So I contacted Revzilla and they're like, yo, shoot it right back to us, no problem. Um, so I did order up a size of medium. And with this medium, it fits very snug. Uh, it is a little hard on the ears. I'm probably gonna get cauliflower ear from getting this thing on and off. Um, but that being said, when it's on, it, it fit, fits your head really, really, really well. But uh, even though I went a size up from the sizing chart, I uh, got a medium, it's still a little snug. I could probably technically use a large, but uh, this one just fits on my head so good and snug when it's when it's on there. But taking it on and off is kind of a bitch. The field of view when you're riding with this thing is, um, in my opinion, it's pretty excellent. Uh, it's very, very wide, so you can see everything. There's no obstructions whatsoever. Nothing really catches your eye. Even though the nose piece sticks up, um, you don't really notice it whatsoever. Uh, and this is adjustable on the inside. There's a switch in there. You can flip it. Uh, you can open or close that vent if you want it open or if you want it closed. So yeah, that's a that's a nice feature. So you got the vent there. You have the air vents up top. You have the um, tent shade that pops down. So this this helmet is pretty feature packed. Icon Air Flight Quarter Flash. Uh, I did buy this one on Revzilla. You can get them straight off the Icon website. But yeah, in my opinion, uh, it's a pretty quiet helmet too when you're rolling down the highway. So yeah, I like it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the helmet, please let me know. As always, I appreciate everybody for watching. Until next time, thank you. Take care. Icon uh, Quarter Flash is Icon's. Um... What'd you say, buddy? Go back inside, please. Is the quarter flash. Uh, that's the model number or the brand, I guess. Or not, not the brand, but book. Once you have your visor in, just take your little pieces here. And they do have um, alignment marks. So this is what it looks like. You're not going to be able to hear me. Can you hear me through my... Special vent. I am your father, Luke. It helps if you uh if you don't put it on backwards. So this one is a what fucking size is this? 